Okay, so I'm going to do a quick video with the C6000 blue to put on a, a leather patch on my hat. There wasn't much videos on there on YouTube when I was trying to figure out how to do it, so I figured I'd create one. And um, wherever I, I ordered this on Etsy, you could order several different. There's a lot of people on Etsy that make these. And uh, they said that this would be one of the best things to use E6000 for gluing patches on hats. So I'm gonna use this cap to break the seal. I think I'm gonna use that cap to break the seal or do I use this steel to break the seal? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know if I'm doing it the right way to break the seal, but it's it's broken now. It's open. I'm using one of these tips. Well, how does it go? Uh, one of these tips were supposed to go on. Let's see, how does it go? Okay, so it goes on here. The tip goes on just like that. So, what I'm going to do is put this all over the back of my patch. Uh, I just put my hat over a little strainer and I'm gonna put glue all over the back of it. I'm gonna put these little corners here aligned with the center line, go just above the hat. And then I got uh, some, I don't have no uh, painter's tape or masking tape, so I'm gonna use this saran wrap to wrap around the hat and let it set for at least 24 hours. You don't have to let it set for 24 hours. I think on here it says it takes anywhere from four to six hours to completely dry. If I'm not mistaken, I'm probably wrong, but I'm just gonna let it set for a whole day. So, I'm gonna put glue. along this patch. Just gonna throw a lot on there. And I'll use the cute the uh, toothpick. <clears throat> Just gonna take this off if I could get more on there quicker. There we go. More on there quicker, just like that. I did give it a good squeeze, so a lot's gonna be coming out of there. Now I'm gonna spread this all along here. Let's see. Gonna make sure I get some as close to the edges as possible. So it looks like I got some on there to e spread it out pretty even. Now, I'm gonna grab the patch. And apply it. So 
So now that I got that on there, I'm gonna get this saran wrap and just wrap this around really tight. I know it's kind of, I know it's kind of uh, silly or excessive, but I'm just working with what I got because I don't have masking tape or anything. This is kind of crazy what I'm doing, but that's why um, it's like a DIY, right? So the hat, I only paid, I think six bucks for it. And it's a hat that I like wearing. It's like a nice little stretch fit hat, a Yupong, a Yupong stretch fit hat. And uh, and I bought the patch for four dollars. So I'm gonna let it sit like that for at least a good day, and then uh, we'll come back and I'll uh, unwrap it, and we'll see how it, how it looks. All right, so here we are, back actually two days later because I was been busy. So I'm just gonna unwrap it real quick see how it came out I would have let it sit for just a day but hmm. don't look too bad I see maybe a little spot right here under that could be redone a little bit of glue under there but here looks good here looks good Maybe a little bit right there. Maybe a little bit right here, but for the most part, it won't look bad. So, that's what I did.